Nice man. Channel switched. Hello, sir. Shana. Shana, sir. How you doing? Doing good. How about you? Doing good as well, sir. Well, had some technical difficulties. Uh, they tried to DDoS me into, uh, you know, saying the world is not ready for you to unleash the secrets about Arms Warrior. Um, but yeah, uh, you're starting with Arms. Well, um, that's what I was thinking because I didn't play Fury in years. Almost. Okay. Oh my God, we actually had a stream trash. I, this is unbelievable. So let's start with Arms, sir. Uh, yep. I guess uh, you. Yeah. Do you ask questions or how, how we do? Yeah, we yeah. Do we this? can we can go like in front of some dummies or something, and then I ask questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, the legendaries is the Mortal Strike Colossus Smash one, right? And uh, yeah. And then the Unity, of course. Okay. Um, trinkets wise, I have the sigil. Let's do gearing first, I guess. I have the sigil. Um, and the uh, trinket from uh, the Worm Boy. Yeah, I think the Skolex trinket is pretty bad. But the sigil is good. I don't know if it's what you want as arms, though. I might prefer the overwhelming power crystal, but I think it's pretty close. Probably it depends on guild time and stuff. Yeah, I had done like an 8 minute sim and it was telling me 0. Uh... 2% higher, but that was single target. I don't know how it uh, works if, like, obviously, if there's like adds up every one and a half minutes, and then yeah, then it's obviously better. But yeah, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's something I need to get uh, for uh, uh, option to have options. Okay, uh, just gonna how do I get to? I'm sort of, we go to Dalaran into Orkrimmar and then I do dummies there. All right. Um, so what is our like uh, prior list with uh, with our abilities, like the, especially with overpower? You know, getting procs and uh, you don't know should I use Mortal Strike? Should I use overpower? You don't want to waste the uh, stacks. Like, uh, what's the general uh, yeah, I was, APL? I guess. Like, I was looking into that right. a lot around the. Uh, Sanctum Domination release, and what mm -hmm. it was was you, um, if you have a lot of rage, like you have Wind Fury Totem and stuff, then you probably want to prioritize Mortal Strike all the time over Overpower. Mm. But okay. if you have any rage shortage, like if you don't have Wind Fury Totem in general, yeah. then you prefer to use Overpower. That makes a lot of sense, if, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Although, of course, if you if you have like a full uh, overpower charge that can recharge, then you use uh, Mortal Strike pull on anyway. It's just if you're capping on the charges. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's say the difference between having two charges fully capped and the difference between like having a 1.5 charge. So. You know, whether you're risking a proc going to waste or whether you're uh, risking a full charge going to waste. Is there basically any point after which it becomes guaranteed overpower uh, if it's like fully two stacks sitting there? Or is it still related to rage? Uh, as far as I remember, it was basically very small difference. So yeah, okay. Of course, somewhere in between one charge and two charges, it becomes worth it. But it was like... Uh, it's not very important. You, right. you don't really have to think about it to that detail. Yeah, generally, if you're capping use over power, unless you're max rage, you know, then you just pop the model strike quick. Yeah. Um, not necessar necessarily max rage. It's I would uh, instead think of it as if you're worried about rage starving, then use over power. Otherwise, use model strike. Okay. Okay. Um, then uh, let's talk about the talents really quickly. Um, what's the play there, sir? We have I play. Oh, I we will get into double time soon. Oh my god. 
that's a topic that I really want to know. But uh, talents in general, uh, I think sudden death always, basically. Yeah. Um. Well, in most uh, most encounters, it's. Um, mm -hmm. I guess spell splitter is uh, most value in, in theory, if but it takes GCDs. So especially if you have wind fury, then spell splitter loses value. And if you're like charging rotationally for rage, then spell splitter also loses value. You mm. don't really play it, but uh, we uh, played it much in early in the expansion. Yeah, we. Well, basically, if you can uh, use all the rage and you don't like sit on it ready for a long time, then probably Skull Splitter will be best. But usually, we end up playing Sudden Death. All right. And War Machine is just uh, if a lot of the things die and you keep attacking. So in like Mythic Plus, things die a lot, but obviously, as they die, you don't really have much use of the rage. Mm. You probably wouldn't use War Machine, or maybe. You would, but it wouldn't be huge value. Mainly, so, uh, yeah. it's mainly a big talent for like Anduin situations like that when mobs die and you keep attacking. Yeah, and does it uh, do you need to have the killing blow, or is it fine if it dies and you're close or something and you've tagged it? You have had to have tagged it. I don't know if you have, have had to have tagged it recently or. Okay. Or if it's very forgiving, but you need to have tagged it, mm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it may be like the Shadow or Death from Priest. Uh, on that one, you have to have it tar tagged like very recently. Like, you have to do it within one second. There's like a room of error. Oh, no, it's not, not sure. uh, it's not one second. It's a lot more than that. Okay, okay. Um, if Unless they change it in BFA, I remember like walking away from all the mobs uh, on Goon. To mm. do the do the orb and then I still got the speed boost after like five seconds. So do we use this on Anduin? Uh, if you're playing arms, I would use it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip double time. Uh, let's go into rain slash massacre, I guess. Or do you use a favor of battle at all? Only on Anduin. But it's uh, it's not good in general. Yeah. Okay. It's only yeah. good if you're like whirlwinding yeah. anyway. Then you get free slams. But the otherwise, thing is, it's not, not a thing. The thing is, on Anduin, wouldn't you say like that? It's like I guess in the well, intermission. Yeah, it can... depends on like your. Um... You're not gonna do a lot of single target damage anyway. So, I see. You know, if you do a lot of AoE, then that at least some value. Right. Okay. Uh, so I between... guess it, it depends on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. And um, between rent and massacre, how do we play there? You should, uh, almost always rent, unless you're going okay. for some kind of execute. Unless you're going for what? Execute damage, you said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if it when it's uh, better than rent, but would only be in execute uh, scenarios when you play Massacre, I think. I was thinking maybe for. Um... Ah, but that's. Like maybe for Oracle, because the ads line up so good, and then you can dump some rage, but I guess you're usually. Not don't have that much rage anyways, or I'm not sure. Do you think it would be worth it there? With like sweeping strikes and add uh, down with massacre execute? Mm, not sure. Because the rent sometimes, I mean, I, I guess it depends on the group, but sometimes the ads die very quickly as well, you know? And then uh, you don't get your executes off potentially, like within the heroic run or something, especially. Or if the hunters are yeah. pumping it within two minutes. I was thinking maybe there. Let's leave it at me. Uh, yes, yeah, so you you, um, if they don't live very long, you probably wouldn't put rent on them. But yeah, if you yeah. don't get an extra execute, then that's not really 
any value either. Okay. Okay. Um, then the next ones, I guess, generally defensive stance or. Yeah. Is there any second wind OP tech in this year? Don't think so. But uh, I didn't. Uh... Pay as close attention to it as I usually do, but I don't think there was anything overpowered. Yeah, not on any of the bosses we actually played on. Was no second window early or very little. Yeah, probably not better than defensive stance either way, even if there is some from what I see. Okay, uh. yeah, is Warp Breaker like always baseline or? Uh, yeah, almost always Warbreaker, sometimes collateral damage, especially on two targets, leave. Hmm. And that's about it. Answer, increase damage ability. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Avatar always? Uh, yeah, pretty much always. I think, yeah. um, in theory, Deadly Column is, like, um, it's tuned properly. It's just uh, all the like real great scenarios. Avatar gains value and Deadly Calm loses. Because Deadly Calm just uh, gives you more fillers, right? That's not as valuable as getting like a, a lot more burst or. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, some cases where it just lines up really good. I don't know. I think one minutes are, for example, really good on yeah. uh, uh, Anduin, right? But um, you need to get uh, high value of that rage also. Then you, yeah. I don't know if you if you just save up rage, you also get yeah. You can be good on rage for a while if you just save up some rage beforehand. True. So the it doesn't really end up becoming a one minute burst cooldown, it just gives you more fillers over time. Draw. Sure. Alright. Uh, and then uh, the last one Dreadnought? Yeah. Alright. It's pretty overpowered. Yeah. Only if you really need cooldowns at uh, another time, another timing, like. Uh, 45 seconds Ravager or is, uh, the blade bombs like somewhere around 45 50 seconds. Sorry, I missed the Ravager uh, part. I was thinking about Dreadnought. What did you say about that? 45 seconds? It's just yeah. if you need, yeah, if you just need, uh, really need cooldowns at, mm. at that time. I see. The Dreadnoughts yeah. generally overboard compared to the okay. other talents. And uh, it doesn't seem like the line is very thick, the 10 yards in front, yeah? Oh, they need to be pretty well stacked. I actually didn't know about that, okay. That's pretty... The Dreadnought doesn't end up doing so much damage, like... Anduin with all the little guys jumping around. True, yeah. Like that. Yeah, but in general, a good argument for pin, like pinpoint stacking the things rather than just you know having them within five yards or something or eight yeah. yards or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, looking at the talents, I was curious about this from the start. It reminded me of double time, sir. So I think uh, this is probably the hardest part that I so far have never managed to do good. What about the charging? Because it's a risky thing. If you play it bad, you lose much more damage than you gain, I feel like. But even though you always told me it is a big damage increase, but how do we do this? Well, big is um, maybe putting it a bit too. Bit, uh, like it's, you're, you're cutting uh, out a bit, change over time. Oh, sorry. It's, I wouldn't say it's very big. It's like two uh, percent, maybe, or even less. Okay. Um, I've been uh, if I've looked at it in like uh, simulations, I've added a GCD to charge just to be like 
more realistic then, and then I think it was like just under two percent. So it's not a not a huge deal to short. And how do you? I mean, two percent is two percent still though. Um, how do you like decide when is it time to charge? Do you like you have your swing timer, of course, right? And then uh, yeah, you like. Is it depending on like you, how rage starved you are, plus the combination of how many things are ready, or? Uh, yeah, so I keep a look at the swing timer and mortal strike cooldown mainly. And okay. ideally, you also run out as you just did a GCD. Yeah. And so I just. Like if I play a lot of arms, I just get a feel for that after a while. I mean, actually doing it the dummies doesn't feel that hard, but when I'm doing it during a boss fight, man, holy fuck! Yeah, it's Not the easy. it's with the um, annoying hitboxes and stuff. Bosses sometimes. Yeah, you have to walk out a long time. You like min max your? I feel like that's like one of the keys. Even though I never hear anyone talking about it. Uh, it's like standing at the max range of the midi hit range, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely. But you also have to be aware of uh, when we're going to move. So if the boss starts moving away, you, you're instantly out of range, then that can be a problem. Yeah. Do you have like some sort of VCR or something that is telling you when to do this, or just full YOLO, full whatever feels natural? Yeah, just fully YOLO. That's right. Okay. And, uh... You don't, like, what about, like, during Bloodlust and stuff? Because you're, like, Omega range there sometimes. And also your swing timer is super quick. Do you still do yeah, it there? Yeah, I think... Um, no, I think it's not worth it to use it during Bloodlust. Unless you have, like, uh, incredibly bad RNG. Mm, I okay. think around Sanctum of Domination, I did some sims on that, and with having like a GCD on charge, it wasn't worth it to charge during Bloodlust. And but that's just like that's not a real test. It's just trying to replicate it. Okay. But it wasn't worth it then to use it at all during Bloodlust. Yeah, I even tried some crazy shit with like foxing out and charging back in to do it quick, but then even the global I lost was almost not worth it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably not worth it to uh, waste brain power on that. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Um, is there a threshold of rage where you're like, after below you never uh, slam? Or after you, you always slam or something like that, like if mod strikes on cooldown slash overpower is not fully stacked. Uh, yeah, they are. When so, do we use slam? I guess. I think you're supposed to not slam under 50 rage because then you couldn't be able to afford the run. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, mortal strike also. Yeah. But, uh, like if you just refresh strand and you still know that you're about to get a uh, ring timer in, then you could still stun just as long as you keep uh, both having rand up and mortal strike on cooldown. Then you can just uh, place it on uh, like uh, your instinct rather than any specific reach number. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, actually, when you say these things, it makes a lot of sense, but uh, uh, some of it I'm already kind of doing, but sometimes I definitely trapped myself uh, by slamming and then not having enough rage for a mortal strike or something. And yeah, was, uh, I've done that fail. a few times also. <laughs> but <laughs> if you... Um, a few times. You just have to remember uh, Randall, so I think when... You have True. to refresh around this mainly when you're going to get rage starved. Because True. then yeah. you need to keep using Mortal Strike also. Let's say the like the worst thing in the world happened and you did trap yourself, right? 
or you know you lost contact with the boss unexpectedly or you got rest or whatever um yeah do you apply rent first or do you model strike first Well, um, I, mean, I, I guess even on the opener. The opener uh, using run first, or but uh, doesn't really matter. I think. Okay. Just whatever, whatever you feel like, sir. <laughs> nice, sir. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Let me think. Let's see. Is there any questions from the chat? Feel free to ask as well. Rent makes target take more damage, but Mortal Strike does more damage as well, and you get it on cooldown. So the, the server is right, I think, when he says do whatever you want. He knows his shit. Uh... Yeah, I mean, conduits, yeah, I guess we can go more into builds, even though I think like this is more boring and, uh, and not as much fun, but I guess it's, you know, a big part of the game. Uh, what about uh, our build in general? Um, oh, right now I'm uh, Irian. I would need to change that. But uh, what uh, what build are we going for in terms of the Covenant stuff, sir? And what, what options do we have? Uh, Night Fae. Usually Dreamweaver, unless you don't want to stand in the Field of Blossoms, and then you can go Nia. And uh, the Conduits would be... Moral combo and uh, what's it called? Crash the ramparts. Hold on. And for the third me, one, let me go there and do it actually. Okay. Not the third good. one would be, I guess, adaptive armor fragment, or the uh, yeah, probably adaptive armor fragment. You can also go. I don't even know. Do I, I do I need to hearthstone? Like I've people are gonna laugh at this, but do I need to hearthstone to my garrison to change my conduits uh, to my to the covenant to, to change my conduits and stuff? No stone. There's a uh, uh, there's a forge over there. Oh really? Lot. Uh, where is that forge? Of course I know where it is, but. Wait, it's wait in Orobos there in the, is a forge. No, in, in the new zone. Ah, in the new zone. Okay, okay. Oh, I guess I'll just hard stone. Yeah, fuck it. There are also dummies there. And with uh, f just quick while I go there with Fury, you also play Night Fae, or I heard with Double Lego you go Kyrian now or what? Uh, depends on the counter. I think uh, seeing most, I guess, most covenants. Not really in Necrolord, and maybe not a lot of them there. But I think uh, Night Face still more single target, not sure. Than uh, Kyrian, I mean. Wait, what about uh, Venthyr and Necrolord? Sorry? Uh, I think Necrolord is kind of dead. Yeah. And uh, sure. yeah. Vanthyr might not be entirely dead. I don't know. I think it is supposed to be good on single target. Okay. I kind of uh, enjoyed Vanthyr. And it also opens yeah. up opportunities with the anti execute, the early execute. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying and, something? Uh, Night Fae and Kyrian. I think do pretty similar things, except Kyrian is a bit better with the AoE generally, and Night Fae is a bit better with the single target generally, I think. But it depends a lot. Okay. Also, when I mean, you said Venthyr might be somewhat good single target, it might also be really good for uh, Anduin then, no? With the... When we say the anti-execute thing, or the early, like high HP execute. Yeah. Yeah, we were thinking right. about uh, Vampire for a while. That was, but you do lose the um, the core ten percent damage, and you also have a lot of uptime on first strike. Even if you're going for single target, it's still pretty powerful for that. Alright, but I uh, think 
Korean makes more sense. Mm. So you did play Korean, yeah, on Anduin? Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, okay, so I'm at the knife thing, the, 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 the Forge of Bonds. So, Anduin, you were saying we go Mortal Combo? Uh, yeah. Crash the Ramparts and adapt the Farmer Fragment, yeah? Yeah, on, on Dream Weaver and on Nia, you would drop the Adaptive Armor, armor Fragment. Or... Ah, you would... Uh, sorry. Would you go, like, not Potency or what? Uh, yeah, on Nia, you would use uh, the Nia Souls. Pretty sure. Unless some changed. Nia's tools, yeah, which which one do you use? Or oh, they all call that um the the one that's damage. Yeah, okay, I guess I don't even know that I'll chance. This is the one I guess. It's the interrupt one, right? I oh, know. No the Okay. Ah the okay, burst. not haste. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. The dream weaver should be like Slightly better. Okay, unless you're moving all the time, I guess what you're saying, yeah? Yeah, or it doesn't have to be all the time, just when you when you yeah, use yeah, the yeah. cooldowns. Yeah, true. True, true, true. true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on this uh, while we're on conduits topic as well, less DPS related, but what about the... Uh, I guess I... I'm gonna assume I did the right thing here because I probably copied what you guys did um, with the like side talents and shit. But uh, what about the defensive slash utility conduits? Uh, I mean, well, the rallying cry one is pretty much mandatory, I guess. And then. Yeah. I think we generally used the die by the sword cooldown unless unless we knew that we would have it ready either way mm. and we would switch away from it and if you switch away you do what the first one would be condensed atmosphere yeah okay and then i guess indelible victory the that's not very high value either. And on the uh, Dream Viewer, do we use uh, triple potency or what three do we use? Yeah, yeah. On Dream Weaver, we would use the potency. Yeah, for some reason, I had some outdated stuff. Chap, just FYI, Knuppler was not played at a professional level at any point, so do not judge me, okay? Uh, let me take this out. Probably in. I like that by the sword, sir. You know me. You want to reduce the cooldown of that? Uh, yeah, at the, as I'm looking at your stream. At yeah. the top, you want to remove the. the what's it called? We go uh, here? Move to finesse actually, that would be better. Yeah. And then we go safeguard, alright. Yeah. Other things. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Assuming that you're okay. actually using it, otherwise you can go for condensed atmosphere. Mm. On the um, defensive one. True. Yeah, maybe if I didn't have a 213 eye level one on this one, I would use it. Okay. Um, what about uh, the rest? Always safeguard a tank. Yeah, and then die. Mm. Um, what, can you look at the knee move as well on the stream crash. very quickly? Yeah, move down, crash the ramparts to the, to uh, the X that's always there. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually don't know. Wait. I see, yeah, yeah, of course. 
Yeah, I was just changing it as you were saying, that's why I haven't fixed it after that. Uh, we go double defensive here, which means get the on the fence atmosphere, but we already so have that. Do I go for survivors rally? No. Uh, I'm usually doing that. Ah, okay. And safeguard also. Ah, yeah, I see. Wait. Okay. I actually don't even like know most of these sounds because I never spent the time looking at each Soulbind's things. Well, after Castle Nathria. Uh, yeah, no, this makes sense, of course. Okay. And then uh, we would put safeguard. And then here we would. Like this, sorry, yeah? You didn't even have this one activated. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. You have this one, right? Yeah. All right. I never use Nia chat. I always use Dreamweaver, okay? It's it's fine. Um Okay, that's conduits. Uh any of the other conduits ever relevant? Uh yeah, Merciless Bone Grinder for AoE is pretty good. I would probably use that on Antwin if you're trying to do AoE. Hmm, okay. Um, and it's also, well, it was very good on Lords of Dread. Not really sure what we're supposed to do now. They changed it, so it's no longer AoE. Yeah, it's every damage now. But maybe it's still very good. But it was pretty overpowered. Um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. 160% makes it already go overpowered. Doesn't sound that doesn't that sound that much for Vervent. Uh well it is a lot. That's it. If you say so, sir, I believe. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh yeah, I guess let's fix Corine as well while we're at it, dude. Because I will play Anduin. Oh uh, yeah. So uh... I'm just gonna YOLO a tree and you tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Okay. Uh, actually, we should go for this probably. Um, oh, here's a question of first strike, I think, versus potency. I'm not sure. YOLO it for now. Uh, hmm. So what do you think of this lane in general? I think the conduits themselves I can handle more about the lane. First strike. Oh, this is for Anduin, right? Them new well, I guess so. Want yeah. Mm -hmm. First strike. Just get a lot of time in the intermission. Just get a what? Just get a lot of uptime in the mm, intermission. Yeah. Do you like try to do you track this and try to min max it? Well, uh, I track it. Uh, I don't really min max it now, unless well, you can like do a heroic throw on a target far away if uh, mm. you want first strike. You can do stuff like that. You can uh, maybe like if you're sweep using sweeping strikes, you could. Just sweep one of the targets and then move over to another target. But I wouldn't uh, like. There's not much min maxing of that happening on Anduin. I feel like. Yeah. Okay. That's an, an argument not to whirlwind, perhaps, though. Eh? Uh, especially with the uh, P1 ads as well, the lost souls, because then you consume all of the first strikes, right? But yeah. then again, Overpower will do the same thing, I guess. Um, the ads are a bit spread, right? So, Nanduin 
as they're like jumping around, you still get very high uptime mm. for first strike just automatically, even if you're spamming whirlwind. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, aside from that, free Gucci. Uh, yeah. You can do alternative setups on Anduin if you want to do AOE damage as arms. You want to do that? Hmm. Not really feeling the AOE, sir. Especially now on farm. Like maybe yeah. if you were not having a million hunters and blasters pumping it. I feel like my task as a warrior is to just do the damage on the the big guy, monster soul, and the the boss, and the grim reflections yeah. as well. The only sad thing as a warrior is even if you're going for a single target, you won't actually do good single target. Yeah, more like more like two target, I guess. Anyways. Yeah. You remember we were uh, Yuri, right? Um yeah, and we were talking about like Spag should go rogue and stuff. This is True. not uh this is not a great warrior fight. Meh <laughs> I wouldn't say it's not a great warrior fight. I think it was fine. Oh, you did actually play arms, yeah, at the end? Yeah. I was going for the AoE, sir. Oh, let's go, dude! <laughs> <laughs> no shame in that, sir. No shame, dude. But you can look at, like, uh, Remnant and Undoing damage. So, Swag was going, like, a full single target build. He wasn't yeah, doing... Yeah, you're saying there's not much diff. Yeah. Yeah. There's truly not much difference, and in fact... Oh yeah, because he's also Fury. Okay, he didn't play... The thing is, we're comparing arms to Fury, not arms single... Well, you know, arms non-AOE versus arms AOE. So, not sure. Yeah. But I don't I... think it's a, a big difference yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see. You do so your thing. It's just all kind of... Uh, all kind of pointless. But, uh, go other classes. Yeah. For Anduin. Any other, like, crazy tech tips you have in mind, sir, that we didn't go over? I uh, guess you know that Dreadnought, uh, when you have sweep strikes, it shoots out uh, two of these uh, seismic waves. Oh, I did not know that, no. Yeah, so... Um, Overpower ah. is really good with cleaving, and it's also like AoE. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty good, and it's uh, also another thing that's kind of double dipping with sweeping strikes is mortal combo. So um, if uh, you're sweeping two targets with the mortal strike, then Either one of those targets could trigger a second mono strike mm. that would then cleave to the other target. That's pretty good. Then those all of those mono strikes could also trigger um, during blow. The yeah. Legendary. Yeah, the closest smash. Wait, so the my mono strike can cleave to another target. And that target can proc another mortal strike, which then cleaves back to the original target? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I see. So in total, you have... Uh, you, with one mortal strike on the main target, you can hit him with three mortal strikes. Not actually... Uh... 100% on this, but uh, it's just how I thought it okay. worked during Sanctum Domination. So, uh, I see, I see. Probably correct, but maybe not. Okay. I didn't... Um, that would make sense. Yeah, it would make sense. This tier. I see, I yeah. see. Okay. Didn't think of it that way, but... Gotta, gotta but it doesn't... It uh, yeah. 
It's just uh, an extra. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter. Chance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, any other any other juicy info you might have? Oh, I have one uh, question actually. I don't think so. Yeah. Blade Storm, dude. Blade Storm during single target and Blade Storm during uh, AOE. What, what is the tech, sir? Well, during AOE, it's the highest prio. So you just go how many targets? The Warbreaker and Blade Storm. How many targets? Uh, how many? Probably three targets already. Okay. But it's uh, probably uh, during two on two targets you for sure want sweeping strikes. Yeah. Two target, I guess it doesn't matter much, and then for sure you want blade storm. Hmm. But like four target spells. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, what about? Uh... A bit sneaky question, like during Bloodlust, for example, uh, I think it gets shorter, right? But at the same time, it's just get more rage, so it's kind of this weird thing where... Uh, like, does it, does it change anything to that you use it uh, on three targets or two targets already or something? Probably not two targets, but... I don't think so. Okay. Everything gets shortened. The blade storm gets shorter. The GCDs True. get shorter. Isn't it all the same, pretty much? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. And uh, what about single target uh, blade storm? Um, as far as I remember, it's just uh, use mortal strike and then blade storm. And you don't you care if you have too much rage or something. Uh. I I think you do care, but uh, it's another one of those things that you can like change a lot in the the priority, and it basically makes no difference in your DPS. Really, it's very small. Okay. So you can like hold it to just be when you reach starved, or you can use it aggressively, and it's very minor chain very minor difference in your dps i mm. think you're supposed to use it um, yeah just when you have mono strike on cooldown and you're low on rage pretty much mm. or not not even low on rage just as long as you can you're not instantly recapping i guess yeah yeah it would be stupid to do that yeah okay but in general, like unless you're like unless you use it super stupidly and you're in some max rage, uh, you can just let it run out and just fully blade storm or what? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Didn't expect that. I thought it was more complex sometimes. Um. Uh, with rage generation, uh, just one more question that I that popped to mind. Uh, like crits give you more rage, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, like, is there any min max that you do in general for like rage control? I don't know. Like, I guess I mean we already said below fifty you don't slam, and then you said uh, basically that means above above fifty I can't slam unless there's nothing else that I should be doing. Is that it, or is there like, I don't know, <sighs> no idea. There's only tiny little things. Like if you 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 can like charge for each, obviously, like we were talking about. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. No, I mean, I mean like more like the min maxing of the crit, or like thinking like how many am I gonna get soon because of auto attack, and because of that. I will do something else. I don't know. I guess holding rage is one topic we, we didn't talk about. For like things. For Warbreaker, for AoE or Execute. Uh, yeah, generally you don't hold rage more than the, the 50 rage. Not spamming to get yourself completely starved. 
uh, the cooldowns usually give you rage. So if you're using Ancient Aftershock, you're going to have a lot of rage. Yeah. So the like the rotation gets easier with cooldowns, not uh, not harder. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. True. Um, the ancient aftershock. What about the the ground effect of it? How important is that? With the legendary now, it's pretty very important, I guess. The legendary is very important. Yeah, I don't even actually know what legendary does for it. Is. Uh, sorry, take... It uh, extends the ground effect and also mm. makes the ground effect give the enemies a dot. Gives it what? A dot. Ah, yeah, a dot. Okay. For six seconds, a mistake. It was six seconds, stacking six times. Damn. Yeah, Where? usually we just. We just kind of have to use the cooldowns when we use them. And if tanks have to move, it's just unfortunate. I don't know. Okay. True. Concentrate mm -hmm. at least. But on Halandrus, the intermission, if yeah. those are getting ready just as the intermission starts, like there's there's no way of playing that, you just have to use it or hold it for a minute. Yeah. Okay. You can yell at the tanks if they move when it's not needed, I guess. That would be the min max. You can yell at the tanks for what, sorry? If they move when it's not needed. Ah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. I thought you meant on Holondra still. Alright, my brain was still there. Um, so, Night Fae is what we play in general for arms always? Or, well, except for like Venthyr and Necrol, you said are dead. Kirin, you said is more AoE oriented? Or what was it? Uh, or is that for Fury? Actually, now that... Yeah, that was for Fury. I don't remember when I said right. that. Maybe I was mixing it up. But that was for Fury I was talking about. Alright, so for arms, do we always play Night Fae, yeah? Yeah, pretty much always. Okay. I think uh, Kyrian is probably better for AoE, generally. Mm. Because of the legendary. Yeah. Ryo and Execute phase. I mean, I guess the same thing is just you replace Slam with Execute? Uh, yes. I think, if I remember correctly, it was like... Using Rend or not using Rend is not a big deal. I think it's a little oh. bit more worth to use Rend always. But... Can mean max a bit like... Use Rend when you don't have Colossus Smash Up, stuff like that. Mm, and yeah, and don't okay. refresh. And if uh, Colossus Smash just has a uh, few seconds left. I see. Is that a min max you would do above, like execute as well? Um. Well, yeah. If Brand is just about to run out, probably. That, well, I would refresh it slightly early if I'm about to use close as much, but not. Yeah, well, generally try not to know. refresh rent during Colossus Smash, I guess. But you probably will end up doing that a bit because we have very much uptime on it now. Mm. Like fifty percent or something, even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mortal Strike, true. Okay. Interesting. Do you use a Vikara, sir? Is there a Vikara? Uh, no. I guess there is a Vikara. But I guess uh, a good thing would be just to ah. see if you actually reflect something. Yeah, and also like if you consumed the reflection, I guess, would be a Vikara. Right? Uh, yeah, I'm tracking uh, Reflect, so I see when it's consumed. I just don't... Uh... Well, it would be nice to have some extra, I guess. Mm. Maybe you can get more info, like what you reflected. I don't know. 
Yeah. That would be a nice week or True. Even though it's not necessarily the arms topic. The Jailer Mace, sir. Uh, I have it. Yeah. Um, it was. It's working differently than I expected. Because you can let the soul just be there. And then I think it dies after 30 seconds itself. And you get the buff. Is that true? I'm not sure if that's true. Because I... I have used it, and then looking at logs, I uh, didn't do any damage with any effect. I don't know. If... I don't know. Maybe. Wait. Maybe so I what do you, what do you mean? Or something? What do you mean with you didn't do any damage with any effect? Um. Well, I just let it time out, and looking at the log, it I didn't get attributed any damage from it. Oh. So. I don't know, but maybe just something else weird was going on that time. Okay, but in general, noticed, uh, you can kill it 30 seconds later, TLDR, right? Yeah. Is that the a min max? Thing is to let uh, yeah. the tank do it. You should have yeah. a, a blood decay. I heard that you were now was doing that for you guys. Yeah. Um, That's pretty nice. What did I want to say? Oh yeah. So do you use this? First of all, like does does the weapon stack with any effect, like avatar or something like that? Do you know? Uh, usually these effects don't do that, so I would expect not. Okay. Except uh, one of them, I think, gives strength. Strength. So that one would always stack. Okay. And um, the main thing that I saw was. Uh, not sure right now. Do you know how the how many seconds intermissions are apart from each other, or how much time from uh, on Anduin? Sorry. I know that it is ready for both. It is okay. I think it's like four twenty or something. I don't. Know. Okay, so you don't need to min max the timer. I was thinking, can you like pop it outside of combat, wait thirty seconds, and then? Kill it and then pull the boss or something, you know? But I guess can't do it without a trash mob or something. Uh, yeah. Usually, a lot of these effects get removed on combat start, so... Like, uh, encounter... Ah, okay. I don't know if this one would, but... Eh, I you would. Could, pro could probably kill the soul fragment after, but... Yeah. I uh, yeah, sure. So let's see if I got... Is Rotting Decay, is that the thing from it? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it letting it expire definitely did work here. Okay. But this, maybe it's uh... different in the raid, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Wait, or, sir, what was the rule again with the double overpower with, with versus Mortal Strike? When you have two charges fully ready, then you did use Mortal Strike uh, overpower, or? Uh, yeah, if you're yeah. at all uh, limited on rage. Yeah, okay. I guess maybe during Bloodlust you would pop the Mortal Strike still, but... Uh, yeah, or even if you... Like... Um, if you just got uh, Wind Fury proc, then probably you are okay to I see. keep using Mortal Strike. It okay. also depends on, like, I don't know, if you have Bleed Storm coming up, then you're going to have a lot of uh, rage anyway, so you don't have to be very concerned about it. If you're going to make, like, a, hmm. just one rule to always follow, it's probably better to always use Mortal Strike, but if, um, obviously you can like uh, min-max it a bit. Yeah, okay. And uh, with Bladestorm, do you try to, to uh, cut down on overpower stacks before you use Bladestorm, or are you just Mortal Strike and Bladestorm and don't give a shit, if it, even if it's two stacks, even if you got a proc or something? Um, I think you just... Storm, Motor Strike, Blade Storm. If you're setting at two stacks, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't, I don't think that 
I don't think that makes a difference. Okay. I did not know that. Sounds good. How big is the parry, sir? I just got parried here and I got tilted. Sometimes it uh, fucks you up real good. Like, do you pay very close uh, yeah. attention to it? Uh, no. Okay. It's high amount, uh, but not like my life depends on it. Well, it depends on, like, uh, if I'm positioned badly, usually there is some reason for it. Yeah. Like I'm doing, I'm anticipating a mechanic or something. Yeah. Then I don't, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So, it's like, uh, what is it, like 5% maybe, 3% chance to get parried? I think it's 3% maybe, I don't know. It's not, mm. uh, not well, it's a lot of damage, but more annoying than than anything. Yeah, there we go, another one. Okay. Anything else, chat? Uh, you overcapping rage. If you're overcapping rage and you have nothing to spend rage on, can you ignore pain to fish for an overpower reset? Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is that something you do? No way. Uh, yeah. Um, especially happens uh, when you're blade storming. I feel like, and then you can still use defensive abilities in your blade storm. True. Then That's what I was immediately make... thinking of as well. Yeah. Hmm. During blade storm. Okay. But I mean. During Blitzer, you're also gaining time for our power. I, mean, I don't know. I guess uh, in general, um, the uh, what is the rage thing called? I forgot already the name. Uh, ignore pain. In general, how often do you use ignore pain for being PMA gamer, like on a Rigalon or something? When people go in, when they yell personals and you fucked up your personal up, is that when you pop the ignore pain sometimes and say fuck it or five? Fucked up my personal. The first thing would be impending victory. Hmm. True. I guess you have enough tools. You say. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like it. We just have way too many tools to survive right now. It's a bit overpowered. True. Forty percent. What the fuck, dude? Uh. And I guess. Uh, I think it was so that double time loses value if you have Wind Fury in your group, right? Like Wind Fury Shaman? Um, yes, well, well, yeah. It's mainly Gold Splitter that loses value if you have Wind Fury. But I guess that applies to double time too. But it's less about the. Uh, like, um, if you have Wind Fury or not for, like, the, the question of double time versus the other talents is more about need. So if the scary yeah. encounter like Agilon, you would use Impending Victory no matter what. I see. Alright. How does it work with Victory Rush and the resetting of it? Is that... Uh... Like the Shadow of Death thing, or is it you need to get the kill, you know? Uh, I think that is uh, Killing Blow. Okay. Not sure. Yeah, That's how yeah, it, it was, otherwise... but I don't yeah. know if it ever changed. Okay. Okay. Uh, I had one more thing, man. Fuck. Ah, no, I, I got it. Tear pieces. We didn't talk about them at all. So, okay, Warbreak is just last more, and that is damage, okay. I mean, doesn't change anything, I guess, sir, right? I mean, aside from um, it being depends stronger. Depends on how we play now. Yeah. Well, sometimes the, uh, like, the uh, mm -hmm. strength bonus can run out. So, you might want a weak aura just to track it, and then if it's about to run out, then you can prioritize... Uh, refreshing it over other things. Yeah, for, for the four set. Uh, I was talking about the two set just now, but I also got a question actually on the two set and Warbreaker usage in general with the legendary. 
there was a thing where you didn't want to extend the Colossus Smash, and that is proc by your Mortal Strike. Is that still the case? No, that was a bug that they fixed. Ah, true. Wait. So, like, the, the time... It used to be that... You um, couldn't apply it? Or... Well, I don't even remember what it was. It, it was had to do with the Warbreaker together with the Enduring Glow. Legendary. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, but, yeah. I think maybe Warbreaker just didn't the... apply. Yeah, how does it extend right now? Oh, yeah, the Warbreaker would put it to 10 seconds instead of uh, extending it to like 18 or whatever. I'm so dumb, I didn't have the legendary up. I was trying to, I was like thinking that I was super unlucky. Let me change. I had them right now both on the belt, so I can't use that two legendaries until I craft them. Uh, uh, do you, like, is there ever a reason to wait? I guess was my goal to ask. Uh, maybe you already answered it with the last sentence, but I was tilted that I'm not getting any procs. Um, uh, is there ever a reason to hold Warbreaker down because you already have a Colossus Smash proc on the target? Uh, no, it extends, so it's uh, the same duration anyway. Fully extends, yeah? Not like Pandemic yeah. Extend. Okay. I don't know, it might be capped, but uh, I can't uh, think of anything. It goes well beyond 20 seconds at least. I we go Fury, sir. Holy okay. moly. I didn't play this for a long time. I'm not sure what legendary you're supposed to use. Let's start with that, I guess. In general, the build. Are you saying the Deathmaker legendary together with the uh, Unity? Um, Death Deathmaker is the one that uh, just has, gives Rampage a chance to apply a Siege Breaker. Oh, okay. I think they so all it's, use it. Basically, it's the same thing, like the same idea, right? Instead of Mortal Strike popping Colossus Smash, this guy pops a Siege Breaker. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. That's simple. I don't even know if I have that legendary. What is it called? Um, Deathmaker. Deathmaker. Okay. Yeah, not anger management. I thought you wait. Oh, with a tier. Wait, were you guys playing anger management? Uh, only for um, AOE sometimes. Oh. Like, um, I guess for Anduin, you might you might play anger management, but almost always we're playing reckless abandon now. Hmm. And... Okay. All right. What about the rest? Uh, cruelty is just locked in. You're never switching from cruelty, I think. And okay. generally, you're playing frenzy. You might, if you're going venture, you might go mass. You're going massacre, I think. Rather than uh, that, you're always going frenzy also. Okay. And then the first row, you're in raiding, usually going sudden death. Yeah. And I guess some fresh meat for. Okay. Lots of sort of enrages too. Ah, this one, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so long that I played nice this. Nice to get a yeah. to get a nice opener. Actually, I don't think I played this. I, I don't think I played Fury in this expansion. Sure. Maybe I didn't. Well, yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, here. I guess doesn't. I guess you go war paints, right? Usually. Uh, usually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does uh, this still enrage you? Berserker rage doesn't enrage you, yeah. Wasn't Berserker like rage, that? no. Uh, that was a long time ago. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh. 
Oh, that was like a really cool min-max actually. Kind of surprising they took that away. What's your enrage yeah. uptime in general? It's like um, 90, 95% at least. It's very, very high now. Okay. Uh, need a second weapon for it. Okay. Oh, I also have three Raging Blow stacks. Is that from one of the talents or was it? Or is it just baseline three stacks now? You always have three Raging Blow stacks, sir? Uh, that's just from the tier set. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Yeah, we didn't see it. It's just, okay. It's in the charge and does more damage. And then Raging Blow is a 20% chance to proc recklessness. Ooh. Damn. That's some nice synergy, I guess. Uh... Okay, and then uh, Covenant-wise, we said everything except Necrolord, it could be viable. But mainly Night Fae or Kyrian, depending on... We said AoE was Kyrian, single target was Night Fae more, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let's, uh, for the sake of having fixed it, maybe fix the Kyrian version as well. Although, you know what? Mm, yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, but uh, before I leave Venthyr, I get uh, uh, Night Fae, I guess. Ah, oh, I would need to. Man. Sorry, first of all, what about the conduit, sir? Uh, the most important conduit is now Hack and Slash, that makes Rampage give uh, a chance to yeah. reset the cooldown of Raging Blow. That one it is pretty overpowered right now. Yeah, with the tier set. That one's pretty locked in. Okay. And then, uh, obviously having a longer duration of Recklessness is also good. And this also synergizes with the tier set, or...? The four set? No, no, it doesn't. I think it's okay. three seconds no matter what. Okay. Let the uh, below 35%. Huh? Oh, you have like an execute potency as well. Okay, and then yeah, uh, that one's not very good though. Hmm. Feels bad. Because um, you're using. Uh, a lot of raging blows, crushing blows with the tier set, and then you also have the normal execute. So you have a lot of useful BCDs anyway. Don't really need to get even more. What are crushing blows? Uh, that's the buffed version of raging blow. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Crushing Blow also, I guess, since we're talking about Execute, you prefer to use Crushing Blow even over Execute. I guess, um, I guess it does mm. similar damage and Crushing Blow will block the Recklessness. Uh, where's the tool to for that? I can't find the Crushing Blow proc. Is it Crushing Blow? Yeah, yeah. it's just if you... If you have it available, you have recklessness up. You can see that tooltip. Yeah, yeah, but like, what does it proc from? Or is Rushing it just literally when you have recklessness up? Yeah. Yeah. Then raging blow just becomes crushing blow. Ah, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. This just becomes a bloodbath as well. As well, apparently. Okay. Uh, I, I think. Yeah. yeah. I need like a. Yeah. Full basic uh, uh, course on this. I have I have definitely not played Fury when I see this uh, this expansion. Okay. Uh, okay. That's good. Understandable, even though it's different. And then uh, uh, on the uh, on the covenants, is it mainly the same idea with the paths and stuff like? Lock these two in, and then uh, what would be our third potency conduit? Uh, uh, let me think. 
those two are the important ones. Hack and slash, depths of insanity, and then I guess you would use adaptive armor fragment or Ashen Juggernaut. And probably yeah. the adaptive armor fragment. Just mm. it's just a good filler. Yeah, where I, I guess you rarely use it or what? What you made it sound like. Like what what do I go for, I guess, on Night Fae? Night Fae, you're probably going Nia, and uh, you. I guess you're oh. keeping Nia's two spurs, then doing hack and slash and depths of insanity. I think that's what you're doing. So you're, uh. you're doing a double potency setup, not triple. Yeah, okay. And you don't go Dream Weaver, you said? Uh, no, I think that Nia is slightly better. Okay. So maybe you want uh, the pot thunder, then Dream Weaver is not bad. We pay extra for this one. Uh, Alright, okay, so I am on the place uh, for Kyrian. Uh, which one do we go? Me Kanikoser, or that's what I've been told before? Uh, yes, in, in most situations, I think that's what you do. For um, AoE, there's a pretty nice um, soulbind ability that uh, you'd use instead of a conduit. That is, right. uh, you get the haste, the more uh, new enemies you attack. Yeah. Okay. That one would be for AoE. Or you would go triple potency. Is that... <laughs> My nephew just popped up next to me, dude. I don't know. Um, is that... Uh, does that mean I should basically go for this mainly because I'm going to be playing this when I do AoE, right? Like, I'm not going to play Kyrian on single target. I guess maybe an exception is uh, Jailer, or would you use Hammer of Genesis during Jailer as well? The AoE mm, type? No. No, I would go triple potency on Jailer. Okay. I think... It Kyrian is not only best in AoE, it's also often best in like kind of in between scenarios. And then okay. you might still prefer to go for more of a single target setup just with Mykonos. The Hero of Bastion gets a lower cooldown. Uh, lower cooldown? But the final, you can look at the final uh, Soulbind spell. Uh. Yeah, I, mean, I had not leveled up. I, I just got my renown for this. What do I pick here, I guess? We have one finesse already, double for I. Damage or healing 200%. Wait, this is giving me damage. Yeah. I guess we go for this. Like this, sir? Or. Uh, yeah, that would be for uh, like Mythic Plus. You would probably use that kind of setup, although with uh, Fury conduits. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I guess I will never play Arms uh, Kyrian R. I can already lock this um, in. I think Fraggle was playing it for Jailer. Hmm. I don't. Uh, it's not bad. So you you could, in theory, play Arms Kyrian at some point. Maybe Lords of Dread or something. But uh, yeah, generally you will play more Fury Kyrian. Mm hmm. And you said this is for M plus mainly uh, because of the hammer you meant, or? Yeah, if, if I go uh, like this, if you're, if you're going the hammer, then that's mainly a mythic plus thing. Okay, and like this is jailer set up fully. Uh, we do like one protective one, I guess. Yeah, on jailer I went with the um, piercing verdict, the Kyrian conduit, just because it's a bit more uh, first uh... AOE on like the mind controls and so on. You're seeing Verdict, where is it? Among the potency. Other fights. 
of this raid. Yeah, on Halandrus. Mm -hmm. I think maybe Panther would have been better, but kind of my yeah, mindset yeah. on that was, was my mindset on that boss was uh, like we were maybe thinking about going Necrolord, but then it seemed pretty annoying to have downtime, and uh, so I went with Nightfay instead. And uh, Vanthyr similarly doesn't like downtime, so mm. uh, I, I just kind of didn't consider Vanthyr. But Vanthyr could be a play on Halandrus, or you would probably go Nightfay, yeah. Is it true that with double legendary Kirin became better? That's what people were saying. Compared to Nightfay. Uh, yeah, uh, generally. But yeah. I think probably isn't Nightfay still more on single target? Like a dummy? Uh, but I don't know. I, I would think so, but I obviously don't really look into things after progress. I'm not sure. thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Chow was saying, isn't Clay a better single target than you ask Revis? Is it? Could be. I don't know. Um, one of... Uh, I haven't really played much Clay, but isn't one of the... Um, like one of the stubbines that like, gets consumed if someone drops low HP? I don't know, you cut out exactly what spell you were talking about, so you said, is something consumed when they're low HP? Uh, yeah, like, uh, you build up stacks on Clea, and then those stacks give you, like, crit, and then yeah, someone yeah. goes below 50%, they, yeah. yeah, they consume it. So I don't know, like, yeah, I think it, it seems well, I don't know how... Uh, how good it is in in reality? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not saying no. I just don't know. Okay. Um. Well, then I think we're done with the done with the covenant part. It's time for action, I think, with the rotation. Let's uh, let's try it out. Uh, so, what does a general APL look like, sir? Simplified version that no humans can play. Uh, with the tier set now, everything like uh, raging blow kind of overshadows everything, so you don't really have to min max. Uh, like your bloodthirst usage or anything like that, you just... If you if you are in rage, you are pumping out the raging blows, generally. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. In Execute, it's... Um, you prio crushing blow over Execute, but you prio Execute over raging blow, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Do you still do the whirlwind thing that you... Whirlwind... Uh, or is it Vervent uh, only single target? Like, are you supposed to use the stacks all the time? If you're trying to do cleave, yeah, then you should have Whirlwind up. Ah, this is only cleave, yeah? Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, so the prior is Raging Blow. If it's... Like outside of recklessness, or outside of execute, raging blow over bloodthirst always. Or if I go one stack, I pop the bloodthirst or what? If you are enraged, then you always prior raging blow. I am enraged over I bloodthirst. Enraged, wow. Okay. And if I am not enraged, which you, and you say I am ninety percent of the time enraged, right? Yeah, I so. may have been a bit optimistic. You, you're at least, let's say, minimum eighty percent of the time you're enraged. Okay, okay. 
when I have enrage, I pop raging blow always. When I'm not enrage, when do I have bloodthirst? Uh, yeah, if you're not enraged, I think you prioritize that over most other things. I think, yeah, I don't look at it in terms of what it says on the APL, but on for simulation left. But I think, yeah. uh, like if you can um, execute and then your next GCD would be Rampage, that would be better than like uh, gambling on a Bloodthirst to get you enraged. Wait, hold on. Can you repeat that? I didn't understand it. Like, um, if you are not enraged and you're yeah. at, let's say, 60 rage, I wouldn't yeah. use uh, Bloodthirst to try to get enraged with my next GCD after this coming GCD rampage anyway. So I would just use the execute, for example, if you have that available. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even thinking of execute right now, because that's... Uh... A layer on top. So baseline, bloodthirst if not enraged. If enraged, then raging blow. So far, uh, yeah. so good. Yeah, okay. And then um, if both of them are fully on cooldown, we use Wervind or nah? Yes. Okay. Uh, any At any point, do we ever like go out to charge in or something? No. Uh, well, if you find yourself in that situation, you have. You say, all right. And then it's uh, very rare now. Mm -hmm. And then during recklessness, you said always raging blow. I mean, well, the upgraded version. Rushing blow, yeah. Rushing blow. And even that if you're like always prioritized. Even if you're like at one stack, you don't bloodbath or you don't bloodthirst if you're enraged. You always crushing like crushing blow, even if it's you know right at one stack. Uh, yeah, the thing right. is, um, rampage. Obviously, crushing blow itself has a chance to reset the good land. Yeah. And also, rampage has a fifty percent chance to reset the good land on raging blow. Also, yeah. you're getting a lot of resets. And yeah, I see. so like on average, you're better off just. Always using crushing blow. Yeah, I think. During enrage, all right. Okay. I think I got it, sir. Um, then we let's let's weave in the execute as well. So. No enrage, execute available, we still blast bloodthirst, unless you said you're about to go into rampage next global, then you can drop the bloodthirst and just do the next global into rampage. Um, but let's say we're not getting rampage next global, are we having bloodthirst above execute? That's prior. It's, um, it's very, very rare. For this to happen, that you are rage starved during the execute phase because you have extra rage coming in. So I haven't really thought about that much because it's like a situation yeah. that doesn't happen in reality. Okay. And you usually, so usually you have enough rage, you say, or you have recklessness, yeah. so you pop the crushing ra raging blow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, we always use Blade Storm, never Dragon Roar, or no Dragon Roar should be better on ah, okay. every single turret. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Do we uh, use it on the CD basically with Enrage up, I guess? Uh, do we wait for uh, the 
Siege Breaker proc or anything if you don't have any, or is how how what is the uptime I guess of Siege Breaker on the target in general? Or said pretty pretty low, I think like okay. thirty percent. Do you wait for that for but Dragon Roar or just use on CD? Mm, no, no, Dragon Roar is not like a huge okay uh, burst thing compared to like we have so many valuable GCDs now. With the crushing blow, you're also probably prioritizing just like crushing blow over dragon roar becomes mm -hmm. a bit more of a filler than a burst spell right now. I feel like. Okay. Do you even look at enrage then for its use? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, uh, yeah. It's still pretty, but it's just not. Uh, yeah. Not a cooldown. Like it might have been before. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is still definitely higher than Raging Blow? Yeah. yeah. Raging Blow can recklessness, right? So you don't want to uh, waste Raging Blow charges. So basically, I would use Dragon yeah. Roar when I'm mm -hmm. not wasting Raging Blow. I see. That would okay. be it, and and rage is up. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. No matter what, in general, I guess, even if you're. Uh, wait. What was the rule when you're not enraged? You. Did we speak about that when you when you're not enraged? We didn't speak about exactly when to use bloodthirst. Did we say always use bloodthirst or? Uh, I think so, unless you're, uh, unless it Next seems global. quicker to get enraged yeah. the rampage anyway. W what if you have three stacks of raging blow though? Still bloodthirst, and let's say three stacks and low energy, uh, low rage. Uh, yeah, I, if you are low rage, I think you would bloodthirst. Yeah. Okay. Because then. You're going to be able to potentially get enraged and still use those raging blows anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um. Thinking about the rest. You feel like we missed something, sir? I'm not uh, a real coach, sir. I'm just, uh, oh, I'm just okay, answering okay. questions. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, mm -hmm. Well, uh, we didn't talk uh, Meat Cleaver. That talent is actually uh, useful. It's not uh, dead anymore. So uh, if you, mm -hmm. you want to play Reckless Abandon, then, and you wanna like uh, do single target damage, but still like passively cleave. You don't really have that many GCDs left over to constantly be like weaving in whirlwinds. Yeah. And so having yeah. the next four instead of next two cleave is very valuable. Yeah. So Makes a lot of sense. You might you wanna say play like... that one. Yeah. You might want to play it on like uh, Prototype Pantheon or uh, mm. uh, let's say Rygon. Yeah. Even Rygalon? E yeah. It, well, if you're going for. You want to be. You're going to do single target much, right? So. Uh, if you. Otherwise, you would have to spend so many GCDs on Whirlwinding that wouldn't be any anymore. It's it's for the small orbs, right? Like the... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was just thinking there's a lot of downtime, the uh, intermission and stuff, but I guess, yeah. I see the value of it. What about Anduin? Probably as well, right? Uh, yes, I think 
if you're playing like for a single target, that single target build that I was playing, I think he played mid. He played what? I think he played mid tier. I'm not sure. Mm, okay. At least he, he probably played it a few pulls. It's good option. Yeah. But on uh, Anduin, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, might not be good to like leave the lost souls as we're target capped. It might not be to do think what about that as well. The lost souls. It might the the lost souls that we're yeah. cleaving out. Ah, we're getting people yeah, out of Kingsmore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, target cap, I get. It. Mm -hmm. So if I see, you want to yeah. do that, you might want to go blade storm or something. True. Yeah. Yeah. When do we use uh, blade storm? Is that for a general AOE burst or? Uh, yes. Okay. It's also worth using on single target, but if they AOE, you for the AOE. Okay. When do we use it on single target, sir? Like how? I don't think you would use it with recklessness up now with the set, but I don't know. I think you would use right. it as like a just a filler when not much else is going on, unless you're playing with find it. Um, I have a question. What was the reasoning behind playing arms over fury on Rygalon? Another person asked the same um, thing. Yeah, with the the gear that I had at the time, they simmed. 0% a lot, so it was just like what uh, I prefer to play. And mm. I think um, how we move the boss to like the unstable matter at the end of the yeah. phase 2, so you can cleave. That was like high value on the cooldown. Yeah. Pretty much guaranteed that I don't think you. Uh, well, you could do the same thing as Fury, obviously, but other than that, I don't think you could like guarantee as high value on cooldowns as that. I think they mm -hmm. just do the arms a tiny bit better. Which spec benefits more from the double Lego general, or is it about the same? Probably Fury, I would say. Mm -hmm. We didn't no. have double Lego either, I guess. Mm, yeah, no. Like this a ban with 4 set or with 2 set too? Who cares man, just get 4 set. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I see we mean maxing the 2 set stuff. I don't think it's relevant. Just YOLO. Oh wait, there's a 4 set benefit from Rec uh, Reckless Abandon. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Jesus. yeah. That's why we're okay. going with that talent. I see. I see. Mm hmm. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. 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 I'm not sure how in depth we went to execute. I think hey, it's not really in depth. It's just you use it um, when like highest prio is like a uh, rampaging and then crushing blow and then execute basically. Crushing blow into execute. Okay. Except if you don't you, have, which, which which is a rare thing, I guess, that you don't are not enraged during execute because you have so much rage generation, right? Yeah. Uh, but if you didn't mm. have, and the next level wouldn't bring you in some way to execute, then you would use bloodthirst. You said, right? Uh, yes. Okay. But uh, that would only like happen if you get some kind of a downtime, like you're running yeah. away from the boss or something. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. This is not optimal during execute, but yeah, you never know. Okay. 
the, the frenzy stacks, they keep themselves up, I guess. We don't have to worry about that, right? On Rampage. Mm, you could play around it, like... Um, um, I don't know, you can like... Uh, use uh, Rampage on focus target or something, if you want to keep the stacks up, but bring another target lower. But Rampage is also very high damage, so if you have yeah. to switch, maybe you just switch anyway and ignore that you're dropping the stacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh. I didn't notice that the Rampage uh, it needs to be on the same target. I meant minimizing yeah. as in like keeping the stacks up while doing the normal rotation. Okay, but doing the yeah, normal no, rotation, that's, you that's will have it. Much free. Yeah, yeah, so the more thing, the bigger thing is I see. And that must be a feels bad man sometimes, right? Swapping targets. Because you yeah. have burst it, but then you lose your thing. Hmm. Okay. Do we, uh, what did we say about Massacre? Or the other, or Onslaught? I don't think you got Onslaught. Onslaught is entirely dead and has yeah. been an entire expansion. Yeah, but yeah. Massacre would play for event here. Mm. I'm pretty sure. What if there's a lot of target swapping? There's a lot of target swapping. I guess you would go Massacre then also. Mm, but I guess it's just but, not, not not good to do, I guess. Yeah. yeah, last time I checked, it's like, even if you average, average like two stacks, you still prefer Frenzy. That was a long time ago though, so that might not be true right now. The Frenzy was noticeably ahead. Okay. Uh, can you ask, sir, what was his favorite warrior expansion? Okay, hold on. We, we can we can have some meme questions at the end. Uh, my brain is fully on this right now. Why he's playing troll race or others? Yeah, that's an interesting one. What about the racial, sir? Um, mm, uh, well, it costs money to change race, obviously. There you go, you heard him. Same with me, bro. I'm undead since years. I'm not gonna pay Blizzard to more than required. As long as we get to war first, we're all good, I guess. Yeah, it's not a big difference. The other races, as far as I know. There was going to be a very overpowered race that will be... You know, when we were playing... Uh, Necrolord. But that ended up not happening. Hmm. Okay. Um. What about Goblin? Is it good? Uh, yes. The utility. Good. Yeah. Could have saved some deaths during uh, Jailer or something. Although I didn't really see the warriors dying to falling down or something. But yeah, uh, no, we are an overpowered class. We don't. I'll put those kind of things. That's it. How much worse is single mind fury? Yeah, true. What about that? Uh, last time I checked was very far behind. Like... Uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, a bit weird now because we have all these uh, special weapons with special effects that are 200. Yeah. So there is no way right now. I think uh, it was like 5% behind or something when we were playing with Yeithis from Sanctum of Domination. So we, also... we've had these special effect weapons now for a while, so... Yeah. But it, I think it's even if you don't have any special weapons, I think it's still behind with, by like more than 1%. Hmm, okay. That's about staff priority and caps. Oh Jesus! So I mean, uh, you had told me already. At least on arms, you just sim and you put in what's needed, right? Like because it changes so much. Uh yeah. So 
I usually don't really care about this because like you, you get the gear that you get and then you just yeah. kind of have to adapt to it. But I think in theory you want mostly crit and then the second priority would be haste, but you also don't really want to stack anything too much. Well, no, this was for arms, right? Yeah, yeah I asked for arms. Uh, we can go do for both. For fury, I guess. I, I think fury don't really want to stack anything too much. As TLDR just, is just uh, same it. Let's just submit. Just submit, boys. Can you have some blitz from one single target? Blitz from one single target running Signet of Torment King's Legendary. Do we cancel BS for the proc? Uh, what did we say? Blade Storm on arms. You want to do it right after Mortal Strike. Blade Storm into Mortal Strike again. Is a TLDR. And uh, ideally, you're also not doing it while rage capped, but not a big deal. Um, and then on arms, what do we say there, sir, with the blade storm? Uh, you mean fury? I think. Yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. Arms. Yeah. 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 Fury. Um, fury. So um, that was just if you're not playing Sinet, then you just use it a pillar, probably when you don't have recklessness up. I want to say because be wasting some crushing blow yeah although like yeah i'm just like speculating i'm not uh, specifically yeah and then, and then with sign it you would you can't slur a thing like uh i think that we mostly try to play it in a way that you're not going to cancel or sign it and anything. You just like um, when you get enraged, you instantly at the same time recklessness. Then, if you get a uh, blade stone proc, you just let that go for the entire duration. But uh, obviously, with the with the new set. Things might have changed, and I have not. But you don't play that. You don't play changed. this Lego anymore, right? Mm, well, for AOE, you might play it. Mm, okay, it's like I see. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Did you play it on any fights? Uh, Fury sign it. I think. Uh... I think for Artificer and uh, Anduin when I was playing Fury and also mm. Arms actually. Uh, yeah. You played Science on, the, on Arms as well, yeah? Yeah, just on Anduin. I was, see. Uh, going for the AoE. Ah, yeah, true. Okay. Um, yeah, it's uh, like a. It's, it's, as far as I know, it's like this other thing to play in Mythic Plus. Planet. So you're gonna be playing it a lot if you play Warrior a lot in general. But I'm not yeah, sure how you're sure, playing yeah. it on single target now. I don't know if uh, anything changed with how we play it on single target. But you should also not set. play it on single target, though, right? Yeah, this I mean, just, if, if you're, you're a single target playing with the plus, I yeah, see. Yeah. If you're playing with the mm. plus, there's also bosses. So, yeah, all right. I don't know if we like cancel it or to get more raging blows out to provoke more recklessness, or if we're channeling it fully. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I mean, ancient aftershock is uh, always ready with CDs, right? Um, uh, what yeah. about what well, about uh, Spear of Bastion? That's what, forty-five seconds. It's also ready in the cities, right? Uh, Spear of Bastion is one minute. Oh, okay. And it can get reduced with the uh, mechanicus. 
thing. Ah. I think it gets reduced to 40 seconds if you're like you have uh, max targets, five or more. Mm -hmm. But on single target, that would be like 56 seconds cooldown. It's a little bit, a little bit weird timing. I think you just use all on cooldown and then like try to have it line up anyway. Sometimes extra if the, like you you know the fight length, mm -hmm. so you know yeah, if, yeah. if you're not gonna get an extra use, then you can just delay one of them to. So you're stacking them up. Yeah, kind of, kind of whole, like holding your CGs for the Lord's uh, Swarm Phase chat. It was a thing we did as well. Checking where it all lines up for everyone as good as possible. And then some people will have to hold. And sometimes they don't even lose anything by holding. You. The time length fits. Can you ask him if he has tried the legendary Seismic Reverberation for Fury in AoE fights? Seismic Reverberation for Fury for AoE fights. Did you try it out, sir? Is that a legendary or what? Uh, yeah. Uh, that would probably be good, but planet is already so good for Fury, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, keep play around with that a little bit. Probably the... I've been playing around a lot with trying to find different AoE builds for Warriors, but that's the one that I sadly skipped. I don't think it's mm. likely, but it's something you can try. Just hit the, the dumbest for a bit, see if it's at all uh, reasonable. That's a, maybe like exactly on three targets or something. But I don't know if that fits anywhere in the raid. Pantheon, you want to just pump with all CDs probably. What do you think of the raid in general, sir? It was a blast, right? <laughs> Yeah, that, it was really, really good. Yeah. Actually, like, uh, Alondris and Forward, there was just, uh, like, a lot of, all the bosses were amazing tuned and at least uh, pretty enjoyable to play also, and some of them were really good to play. Yeah. Even the early bosses, like, there was just uh, quality all the way through actually yeah i think like i was saying like oracle i think it was even a super nice boss if it was harder tuned yeah artificer was really good skull is probably a fun fight if it was harder we like had to try play around with the enrage a bit reset a bit you know more min max times try things out but yeah that is was a bit too easy but aside from that i guess it was tuned for no force it yeah i mean even with no force, that was kind of too easy, I think, but... I mean, it's early bosses. What can you do? Yeah. Ah, no force set. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, without force set, actually, it will be a bit tighter. Yeah, it was a good raid chat. Nobody can deny it. Honestly, the only people that think this is a bad raid or bad tier is people that are not playing well. Or they have no idea. What's the context behind the arm spill on Anduin? Uh, yeah, we already talked about it. You can watch the watch, sir. But the LDR... Well, big I can difference. say... Yeah. Uh, me and Swag were... We had the same assignments all the time. So we just tried a few different things. And uh, like he was playing for a while early on. He was playing the AOE build for Fury. And I was playing arms, and it seemed like on average the arms one was doing more AoE. So I stuck with that. But obviously, we didn't really need AoE, so then Swag went for Fury single target. Which again, was and I would also, same. yeah, I would also have switched to Fury single target, except it didn't seem that amazing either. So, yeah, that's how we came to that decision. Okay. Well, thank you for everything, sir. It was uh, very, very helpful. I'm sure the stream learned as well a lot, but uh, I mainly learned very, very many things. And I will need to digest all of this. Maybe need to look up in the video back again. Uh, thank you for coming.
Uh, are you fine yeah, with no me problem. putting this on YouTube? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. If, if you're not about certain parts or something, just DM me Discord as well. It's all good. I probably okay. said a lot of wrong things, but... Yeah, uh, but I mean, fine. that's going to be a disclaimer. Like, very, I'm fresh out of progress. Like, things changing all the time. Things being discovered. I'm sure three months from now, a lot of classes will have some, like, new things popping up left, right, center. So, it's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Sound muted. What a wholesome, um, you could call it interview or coaching session. Damn, dude. That was good. That felt pretty fucking good. The only thing that tilted was the stream going offline all the time.